this vase up from Goodwill. It was three ninety nine. I bought this in the Phoenix Goodwill when I was visiting uh, Arizona. So we are going to do a baking soda and paint effect on this. A little bit different from any of the others that I've done before just because of my colour choices and I got my inspiration from a hearth and home jug. I'm just taping off the bottom of the jug because that colour is going to be different from the rest of the jug. So the first colour I'm going to use is a golden brown and I purchased this from Michaels. <laughs> So that's the first coat. Clearly I'm going to need a second just to cover up the design that's been painted on there already. You can see it's coming through. So I'm just going to let that sit there and dry. So I am removing this tape whilst it's still wet. Because I have a feeling if I was to let this dry and then I kill it off, it might take, it might crack and go up. So I'm just going to remove this whilst it's wet. That's the second coat. Let that dry. So here I'm going to try and make a black blue colour. I don't know how successful I'm going to be, but we're going to mix it again with baking soda and do the top half. Now, the issue is I want to keep this a nice crisp line, so I might have to go in with a really fine paintbrush to do the edges, and there may have to be some touch up afterwards too. Apologies, I forgot to hit record when I painted the top portion of the jug black. So now we're fast forwarding to where I do the gold embellishments. Next project so this little pot cost me a dollar it's wood and it's about eight inches in diameter I would say it's only a little small one that's the size of my hand there you go so today we are going to sand back and then depending on the color I will choose what to do next first I'm going to go in with a medium grit sandpaper Next, I'm going to go in with some fine grit sandpaper just to knock off some of the edges, but we're nearly there. Okay, I've finished sanding. I decided to keep the inside with this nice sheen look to it. On the outside, I knocked it all off. I kept the very bottom the same. Now I'm going to apply some of this. I bought this from Ikea. I found it next to the chopping boards, and this is like a wood uh, moisturizer and this is the finished bowl and it is a subtle difference but this is perfect for what I'm looking for I've decided to keep the inside satin and the very bottom I've kept that satin, but the rest I've knocked all the varnish, all the sheen off, so it looks very rustic. And I have the perfect place for this. Okay, this next find is um, Goodwill. It was $1.99. And it originally was from Target. It was one of those um, items that as soon as you walk in the door, they have like the $5 and the $3 little finds. So this was originally $5. I'm going to do a paint effect on it. And then I intend to use it in the bathroom as just like a little bathroom riser. So let's see how this turns out. 
Okay, so for this project, I'm actually going to use black satin acrylic paint, again from Michaels. So let's uh, get to painting. Okay, so far I've opened the paint and I've managed to get it all over me. So let's start. First coat done, it does need a second one. You can see like the wood, actually I don't know if it's picking it up, but you can kind of see the wood tones peeking through. So I'm gonna let that dry, give it a second coat. Okay, I've done two coats of the black acrylic paint. Now it's time to do a paint effect right here. I just used painter's tape to tape off all the sides so I didn't splatter any paint. So here, the technique I'm using, I'm painting on veins in white and gray paint and then I'm using a dry brush and I'm smudging out the edges. So basically I'm just alternating between the white and the grey and later on I start adding silver. Okay, next I found this little uh, wooden pig. It was $3 from the thrift store. Barbecue season's right around the corner, so I'm just gonna make a small, subtle change to this little one. First thing, I'm going to remove the straw. Next, I'm gonna use some fine sandpaper just to give it a nice going over. Okay, I've finished giving it a quick sand down. Now I'm gonna go over with some French linen chalk paint. Okay, he's finished. I finished painting him with the chalk paint. I did mix the chalk paint with some water just to thin it down. I didn't want a thick, solid paint on him. So let's go put him in his new home. is a bar stool that I'm actually going to make into a smaller table that I can sit next to the bath. So um, I'm going to show you what it looks like first. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is sand it down and then I'm going to check out the colour and see whether it needs to be stained. So first thing I'm going to sand then we're going to bash it up and age it and then I'm going to chop the legs down to make it shorter into a table. Okay, I'm really going to go in and make these edges really, really curved just to take off that nice sharp edge because I've got a nice sharp edge here. I want to get rid of that. So all I'm going to do... As I go around the edges and I'm taking off that hard corner, I'm going to make it so it's not even at all. So this, this piece here, I've taken a nice big groove out of it because I really want to make it seem like it's aged and bashed up. Just using my sander and I'm using the pointy end of the sander to do this. So some of these tighter spots here, I am going to have to go in with some sandpaper uh, just to get up really nice and close into these little nooks and crevices. Okay, so I finished sanding and now you can see the difference between 
the before and the after. I didn't bother sanding any of the bottom because I'm just going to be chopping that part off anyway. So why do all the extra work, eh? So now the fun part, I'm going to be doing some bashing. <laughs> Okay, now that it's pretty dinged up, I am going to go over with some sandpaper just to make sure that there's no areas that you can get splinters from. I did a good ding up here. Love this bit here. Um, but I am going to go over with the sandpaper real quick. Okay, so I'm happy with all the um, aging that I've done. I'm now going to wipe it down with a damp cloth, just get some of the loose dust off. And then we're going to go in with a stain. Okay, it's now time to cut the legs. So I need to measure first, measure twice, cut once. I think I want them to be around here. So that would actually be exactly one foot. Okay, let me measure all these. off now I need to sand all the edges and it's almost done mm -hmm. 